Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Stable Diffusion on your local computer. I'm going to be using Windows, but you can use a Mac, Linux, or even an iOS device. Installing Stable Diffusion isn't that difficult. In fact, depending on your internet connectivity, it may only take around 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's go check it out. All the links to these websites in the description down below. So make sure you click on there and that way it'll lead you to where you need to be. We're going to go to the GitHub repository for Automatic 11.11. It's basically the UI that uses Stable Diffusion to generate the images. Now as you can see in this website, you're going to have all these files that you're going to have to download. But it'll all do that automatically. I'll show you how. Firstly, there's a whole bunch of information that you can go through, all the features it has available to it. What we want is the installation and running. Now the first thing we need to do is install Python. Now it's very important that we install the right version of Python. If you install the wrong one, certain features will not work. Now in this case, for Windows, we'll be installing the 3.10.6 version. As you can see, we've got the link right here, so we're going to open that up right now and it'll take us over to the Python website. Now, depending on the hardware you have, you'll have to install the 32-bit or the 64-bit installer. In my case, my Windows is 64-bit, so I'll be installing the Windows installer 64-bit. Once you downloaded the Python installer, we're gonna run it, and you'll see that down here we have add Python 3.10 to path. It's very crucial that you add this because it will add it to all the list of Python versions that you have. If you don't do this, you won't be able to run automatic 11.11. Click. Install now. Back at the Automatic 11.11 GitHub repository, what we're going to see is the next thing we have to install is Git. Now Git is going to help us install Automatic 11.11. So what we'll do is we'll click on that and it'll take us to the website where we'll select the 64-bit installer. Git isn't as straightforward as Python, but it's not that difficult to install. And we pretty much leave everything as it is. Just leave everything on default and click install. Once it's all done, we can turn off view release notes. We don't need to see that and just click finish. Back at the automatic 11.11 website, our next step is to go all the way up to the top, click on code and then press this copy button that looks like two squares overlaid. It'll tell us that it's been copied. Now in Windows Explorer, we'll need to select the location for automatic 11.11 to be installed in. And what we'll do is I'll create a new folder and we'll rename it Sable Diffusion. We'll go in here and we'll go to the search bar and type in cmd. Now that the command prompt is opened up, you'll notice that it's inside the stable diffusion folder. This is crucial because what we're going to do next is write git clone and then we're going to paste what we just copied. So what this is going to do, it'll activate the git app that we just installed. It'll tell it to clone the repository that we have here that we just copied from the automatic 11.11 website and we'll click enter. Now you'll notice that it's going to start downloading quite a few files. This is actually a pretty quick process. Uh, the files aren't that big. We can close that. Once we close the command prompt, you'll notice that we have a new folder within Stable Diffusion. It's called the Stable Diffusion Web UI. This is our local install of Automatic 11.11. Now these are a couple of the important folders that you need to pay attention to. You have your extensions. Automatic 11.11 will install all your extensions in there. If one of these extensions starts playing up, you can go into this folder and start deleting the ones that are playing up and reinstall them. But sometimes that helps with certain issues. Then we have our models folder. This is where we're going to be putting all the models that we download. As you can see, we've got the stable diffusion one. We're also going to create a new folder called LoRa. And when we start downloading LoRa files from Civit.ai, we'll be able to save them into there. And that's basically all you need to know about these files. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you've learned something new today, put it in the comments down below. I really want to know what it is. Now, the next thing we have to do is hold down the shift button, right click web UI user bat and click edit. Once we're in the notepad, in the command line arguments, we need to add a couple of arguments of our own. The first one will be dash dash x formers. The second one we're going to add is auto launch. Reason we need auto launch is because once it's finished loading, it's going to load it into your web browser. If you don't do this, you'll have to either save the address onto your web browser or you're going to have to type it in every time. It's a bit annoying after a while, trust me. Click control save and exit out of that. Now we'll need an actual model for our stable diffusion to work with. The majority of stable diffusion models that you see online that people are using can be found on the Civit AI website. Now, while you can use the original stable diffusion models that come from Stability AI, you'll find that most people use the ones that are on Civit AI. The reason being, they're a little bit more refined than the models that you find from Stability AI. Now in Civit AI, as you can see, there's a lot to choose from, but you need to know what you're looking for. So what we need is a checkpoint model. As you can see, there's so many to choose from. Now, when you are on Civit AI, be mindful that it is a not safe for work website and you will see a lot of nudity if you click the wrong button. 
In my case, what we're going to do right now is download the Realistic Vision 5.1 model. Now, as you can see, when you type in Realistic Vision 5.1 tends to be the latest one at the moment. Here it gives you an array of different options. What we need is the 5.1 model. This is your base model and the in-painting model, the 5.1 in-painting model. While this is the latest version of Realistic Vision, it doesn't mean it's the best one for every job. Sometimes I will go back to Realistic Vision 2, 3, 4, and even 5. Because they've been trained with different data sets, they give you different results for every model. Now something to keep in mind with all checkpoint models is that you have two different versions. You've got the CKPT and you've got the Safe Tensors. What you want to do is download the Safe Tensors over to CKPT whenever possible. It has something to do with the CKPT has been able to be hacked and viruses being able to be installed on it. Safe Tensors don't have that issue. So what we'll do now is we will download the 5.1 VAE and we'll also download the in-painting VAE. Now both of these files are very large, they too tend to balloon quite big. So I've seen ones up to 12 gigabyte. Just keep in mind you will need quite a bit of hard drive space for some of these files. Now once you finish downloading them, you need to go into your automatic 11.11 install, click on models, stable diffusion, and place them into your stable diffusion folder. Once that's done, we can go back into our stable diffusion web UI, and we can click on web UI user.bat. This is going to run stable diffusion, and when it's the first time you're running it, you'll notice that it's going to take a little bit of time to get to stable diffusion. What will happen is it will go through the requirements txt, find the files that you need to install, and it will install it for you. So if it is the first time you're ever running it, this may be a good time to go get a coffee now. Keep in mind, if it looks like it's stuck, it's probably doing something in the background. On occasion, it will tell you there's new versions of these to install. In order to run these, all you need to do is highlight these, press Control copy and then next time you run the CMD, you just paste these into it. Once it's finished installing, Automatic 11.11 will open up in your default browser. If you select the checkpoints, you'll notice the Realistic Vision 5.1 will load up. It's the only ones that we've loaded up until now, but we can add as many as we want. Whenever you add a new one, just make sure to click the refresh button and you'll get new ones showing up. And that's how we install Stable Diffusion on a local host. As a bonus tip, I'll show you how to add an Automatic 11.11 icon onto the web UI and then place it on the desktop so it's easier to find. And the first icon that came up, which I actually really like, is the one from Parity Error, which is the A with the three ones. So what I've done is I've converted it into a dot .ico and put it into our automatic 11.11 folder. And we can't actually change the icon of the original file, but what we can do is create a shortcut, rename this as Stable Diffusion, just sort of make it a little bit easier to recognize. Now we can go to Properties, and in Properties we'll go to Change Icon. So now what we do is browse for that file, Automatic 11.11. Now that we've loaded it, we click OK, and we apply that, click OK. And as you can see, our Stable Diffusion now has its own icon. Control C to copy it, and then we can drop it onto our desktop. This way, we can run it directly off our desktop, and we don't have to go digging through folders to find it. All right, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. It's going to be part of my new basic series where I go through some simple tutorials that teach you how to use Stable Diffusion from start to finish. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. In part two, I'll be going over the different tabs of Automatic 11.11, as well as some important extensions you should also install. Well, that's it, guys. My name is Sebastian Torres, and I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, remember, let me know in the comments down below, because I'd really like to hear your opinion on these. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out this next one.